Hi, this is Ralph Turciano. Once again, this being the 1st of February 2016 to review with you what we feel are the top three health headlines over the past seven days. First one, let's start off with researchers hint at nutritional strategy for reducing autism risk. Now, this is basically a common amino acid you can find on a retail store shelf. Their latest findings show that genetic defects in the body's ability to manufacture carnitine, an amino acid, might be associated with increased risk of autism because carnitine deficiency interferes with the normal process by which neural stem cells promote and organize embryonic and fetal brain development. The researchers found that neural stem cells unable to produce carnitine do not behave properly and are inappropriately depleted from the developing brain. But when genetically at risk neural stem cells are supplied with carnitine from an outside source like diet, they don't have the same problems. So carnitine being a common amino acid you can find just about any place these days. Number two, UA researchers identify food additive that may help prevent skin cancer. Bixen, Bixen, depending on how you want to pronounce it, is a bright reddish orange compound found in annatto, a natural condiment and food coloring derived from the seeds of the achiote fruit. This discovery is unique because Bixen or Bixen is a nutritional factor, not a sunscreen applied to the skin, meaning you eat it. It prevents UV skin damage from the inside out by inducing cells to make protective antioxidants and repair factors, which is kind of cool how it helps the body out. The compound does not kill the skin cancer cells, but prevents their forming in the first place. So a nice cancer preventative, so to say, it may help with other types of skin damage on top of that. Number three. Asthma analogies protective factor in farm milk, i.e. raw milk. Children who regularly drink fresh farm milk are less likely to develop asthma than the kids who consume the industrialized or industrially processed product. A number of epidemiological studies have already pointed towards effect and it has now been verified. Fresh, unprocessed cow's milk, known as raw milk, has a higher content of omega-3 fatty acids than does pasteurized, homogenized, or low-fat milk. This factor partly explains why children who consume the unprocessed product are less likely to develop asthma. These are the top three headlines we feel the past seven days, being the 1st of February 2016, and I will catch you again next week. Thank you very much.